Hey everyone, so we had amazing news over this past uh, few days. So I actually heard about it over a holiday. It was the holiday of Sukkot. And uh, interestingly enough, the uh, there was a person that had been in our sukkah uh, a year ago on October 7th, and they, they kind of felt like like uh, it was like a bad omen, like they didn't want to come back to our house. But finally they came a year later on the first day of Sukkot, and they came with uh, with amazing news uh, that that uh, Sinwar, the the one who really constructed the October seventh attacks, had been annihilated by the IDF, and that we see one terrorist after the next uh, constantly falling at the hands of Israel, making not only Israel safer but the world a safer and better place. Check out Bibi Netanyahu's reaction to Sinwar's uh, annihilation. The bloodiest attack on the Jewish people since the Holocaust. It was the worst attack on the Jewish state since the founding of Israel. Since war, terrorists murdered in cold blood 1,200 people. That's elderly people, Holocaust survivors, children. They brutally raped women. They beheaded men. They burned babies alive. And they took some 250 men, 251 women, men, and children hostage to the dungeons of Gaza. Today, the mastermind of this day of sheer evil is no more. Yicha Sinwar is dead. He was killed in Rafah by the brave soldiers of the Israel Defense Forces. While this is not the end of the war in Gaza, it's the beginning of the end. To the people of Gaza, I have a simple message. This war can end tomorrow. It can end if Hamas lays down its arms and returns our hostages. Hamas is holding 101 hostages in Gaza, who are citizens of 23 countries, citizens of Israel, but citizens of many other countries. Israel is committed to doing everything in our power to bring all of them home. And Israel will guarantee the safety of all those who return our hostages. But to those who would harm our hostages, I have another message. Israel will hunt you down and bring you to justice. I also have a message of hope to the peoples of the region. The axis of terror that was built by Iran is collapsing before our eyes. Nasrallah is gone. His deputy Muhsin is gone. Haniyeh is gone. Def is gone. Sinwar is gone. The reign of terror that the Iranian regime has imposed on its own people and on the peoples of Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Yemen, this too will come to an end. All those who seek a future of prosperity and peace in the Middle East should unite to build a better future. Together, we can push back the forces of darkness and create a future of light and hope for all of us. So I really like the sound of that. And uh, the fact of the matter is, is that although it is a day of, that we feel uh, joyful that, that another uh, evil terrorist mastermind has been eliminated, we need to focus on the fact that our joy comes from the fact that this person is no longer able to inflict upon the world the, the killing and, te and terrorism that, uh, that had been going on uh, until this point. That is the main focus of our joy, that that evil has been eradicated from the earth and that many people are a lot safer now because of that. Uh, as, as far as Bibi's final con uh, comments about uh, Iran and that peace can, uh, can very soon be developing in that entire region, may we all pray for that day to come very soon. And I, I anticipate that it's going to come a lot sooner than, than, we, than we all think. Uh, have a wonderful day, and God, God willing, we'll, we'll have more good news to report in the upcoming days. And uh, if you like this content, please feel free to subscribe to our channel over, over down in the corner over there. And uh, we'd love to continue the conversation. Have a wonderful day, everybody.